What's up guys, John from Side Hustle Experiment. I literally just shot a video doing some sourcing using Celeramp manually on walmart.com to try to find some profitable items. I actually did not find any profitable items. I found about two or three that were maybes, but I'm gonna post a video anyway, just because I think it's really important to realize that sometimes you're not gonna find anything. I only did the video was I think 20-ish minutes, 25 minutes. Um, there's actually a lot of good content in there showing why I would buy something, why I wouldn't buy something, some of the issues, but more importantly, how Seller Amp works um, and how you could actually use it differently than anyone else is actually using it. I don't know many people that use it this way, so that creates a huge opportunity for you to find different products that other people are not. So if you want to learn how to use Selleramp to find profitable products on actual walmart.com, not really sourcing Amazon and then sourcing on Walmart, check out the video. Let me know what you think in the comments and enjoy the video. All right, so we're gonna head over to Walmart. I literally just did this video and it got deleted. So you're gonna see some uh, history already. I swear I did this live before. So I want to search a category. I'm just going to hit snacks. All right. All right. So like I said before, we're going to be using Celeramp to search on walmart.com. Uh, a good, it's a different way to source. Definitely takes a little more time. For me, I like to set some filters here. I only want to buy from, you can click retailer. I don't want to buy stuff from Walmart, okay? So I don't want to buy from pro sellers. These are basically third-party sellers like us. Instead of selling on Amazon, they sell on Walmart. Most of them sell on both. So I'm going to click view results, all right? I'm going to just throw myself down here. So it looks like there's 951 results based on that. This is just snacks. I mean, it depends on the keywords. I'm sure they have a lot more snacks. But 951, but that's what's popping up. So with Selleramp, it's like hanging up up here uh you could always just click it at any time um i guess that was saved in there and it will pop down so what you would do is one of my favorite features is you could basically just right click and then you could you'd basically do a search for it so you'll see right here it popped up um the image of the the classic mix the packaging is definitely different. This is saying it's a new box. The rank is high. Um, I would probably just pass on this automatically. There's no buy box, which could create like a pretty good opportunity because that means Amazon's not in stock. And there's no buy box because there's probably some crazy pricing going on. But the, the two don't match, which I'm not crazy about that. If everything else matches up, you could buy it. But I'm going to pass on that. Um... So yeah, we basically kind of just go down the line. Let's see if we can find some stuff here. Another no buy box. What is going on here? Um, okay. It looks like the box here is different as well. This could also be a different side of the box. This is somewhat interesting, 56K. 20 sellers, a lot of competition on that. Let's see what's going on. Let me take that back. Not a ton a ton of composition based on the rank and how many it would sell. So it's saying seller amp is estimating it would sell about 43 uh, a month. So it looks like it, the average, what is it picking up as buy box? Oh, it's 14. This would cost us $7. So that's no good. So this is going to be a quick out on that. That's kind of the nice thing. It makes it super quick when you're doing uh, when you're using seller amp, because you could just literally right click before you'd have to go to Amazon, type this in, compare it. So this makes it super, super easy. There is a link in my bio for a free trial. If you want to try it out, I think it's 14 days. Go ahead and do that. Um, this one looks like it has animal crackers. Again, the box is different. Let's see what's going on here. Curious to see. I would definitely compare these nutritionals over here. If all that matched up and it 
would be a potential buy, then I'd probably buy it. Sometimes the package isn't updated, but it looks like Amazon went out of stock here. Wow, someone's getting $34.99 for this at one point. What does this have cost us? $6.98. Jesus. So at $6.98, uh, I did see this one. Um, so if you put that in, it's calculating, seller amp is calculating everything for you. The amount that sells per month is insane. You're estimating $8,500. Uh, this would be a more of a riskier buy just because if you click all the days of Keepa, Amazon is definitely coming back in on this listing. We don't know when. It's obvious that they're in it most of the time. There's some sporadically they're not. Uh, this is one of those times, but they're most likely going to come back in. Um, so for this, seller amp is great because it's calculating everything for us. So it's breaking down the sales. You can look, you can click here. You can see the 90 day average. The 90 day average is 747. That's because that's what Amazon is selling it for right now. Um, the lowest for the last 90 days, I guess people have been sneaking in there a little bit higher than Amazon. Um, all right, where is that? There is, I always have trouble finding this. There is a thing you'll see where it breaks everything down. Oh, the profit calculator. Oh, so you, if you just click on this, these are the total fees. So I have a prep fee set in uh, that is being calculated for me. Inbound shipping, I have set to 30 cents per pound. Uh, so it's calculating that it will cost um, 71 cents for me to send it to Amazon. So all my costs are into this number. So if you weren't using a prep center, you'd make $5 on this. So that I would definitely pass on this just because of that. But it could, if you want to take on the risk, I mean, you could potentially make $5. It most likely in cases like this, I could make $5 and that's at 23. I think the 90 day, let's see here. Oops. Last three months. Yeah, they are getting 23, but not consistent enough for me. Uh, 23, the problem, the big problem with this year is when Amazon comes back on stock, it's gonna drop to seven. <laughs> And you're going to lose nine dollars um when you sell it out so there's just really not enough there for me uh it's too risky if the selling price amazon was selling for was like i don't know 16 dollars, and i had a chance to make five but if they came back in i'd lose two i might be doing it obviously this would not be a good refund based on that but it's just something to think about when you're sourcing just trying to run you through how I would be thinking about things. Let's see here. So this exact one did not come up. So in these cases, I could click on that. I like to bring it up again. Then I would usually just copy and paste this and search Amazon itself. Get a new thing here. See if we could pop it up. Looks like this baked one. Oh, uh, here we go. It's down here. Huh, this actually could be somewhat interesting. There's no rank, which is weird. Let's see. Pull it up. Uh, 998. That's 18 count, 18 count. Oh, this is a four pack. So you definitely have to be careful when you're looking at stuff like this. Obviously, this does not have a rank. It looks like this person just created this listing. It's only 23 days old. Definite hard pass on that. Let's see what else. Let's see if we can find something. Let's see, cheese at 20 pack. No buy box. Let's see what's going on. It's just really nice with the tool to just see this at a quick glance. You can see there's not a lot of sellers. The rank is a little high. You could just make like really quick decisions without having to come over here, type in cheese it and go through the whole thing. Right now you just get a really quick glance. Um, 
Surprisingly, this is selling for 18 consistently. The rank is definitely high. Let's see here. What do I want for this? E28. Let's see what that would bring us to. Yeah, that wouldn't work for us. We'd lose money because we're profit about $8 on that. Pretty consistent, though, if you maybe could find this wholesale or something um, for around $5. That could be a play. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? I'm trying to avoid these chips because they're, like, bigger. Uh, let's see Nutella. This actually could be bad because it's meltable. I'm guessing. No, let's pass on that. Chicken and a biscuit. I've never heard of this. All right. This looks like there is a pack of two for $7.95. This is uh, max cost to be $7.95. So there's no BSR on this. Let's take a quick look. Um, because for a chew pack, you'd only be in six dollars. Let's see. Oh yeah, something weird is going on here. This is definitely a weird one. See the average 90 days buy box is 1725. It has a buy box. It's only two FBM sellers. Yeah, I would definitely pass on this out of curiosity. I'm just curious. You click into offers. Oh yeah, see it's only selling three. That's probably why there's no rank. Basically, this is like how much it sold in the last 30 days. Kind of Another estimate you could use, so you could just click on offers, or data, offers, and see. So yeah, that's a big no. Um, let's see here. Fruit snacks. Let's see if we get any fruit snack action here. Again, yeah, this is one that's, uh, this one actually might be it. My screen is not big enough. Do this on the laptop here. Let's just pull it up and see. Oh, it looks like the price went way down. Yeah, 146. So if I saw that, I'd definitely be like, yeah, no way. No, thank you. Let's see if we can find at least one here. Let's see what's going on with this great value. This is a Walmart uh, private label brand, or Walmart makes it. Uh, 9.27 is what it's selling for. That's a different one though. Oh, it's this 50 pack. Again, I would definitely pass on this just because, let's take a quick look. Sometimes I will, just because it's listed at 46. This was selling at a time. This is very interesting actually. Hmm. Oh, interesting. There's no prime offer. Oh, there's definitely FBM offers here. I would guess this might be selling. Obviously not in value. Volume, rather. Uh, review count. So the review count's way down. Let's see. I uh, want to see something quick. Let's do the offers real quick. Two, three. Yeah, that's not. That's just very interesting. Those people are probably getting sales, but not. It's a bad buy. Don't buy that. Uh, let's see. This stuff here means it's like out of stock. Sometimes I will check that because obviously it's going to come back in stock. But for the purpose of this video, let's head to page two. See if we can find something. Uh, same stuff. Let's see this variety pack. I'm not going to waste time because that's a great value. One. Animal crackers are back. Um, 
Let's try this one. Oh, it looks like Teddy Grahams. Uh, oh, okay. So it looks like, what do we got here? There's a pack of three selling for 80 bucks. No rank. What is this? Uh, pack of five. Oh, this is interesting. Pack of five. I don't think this is actually a five pack though. Let's take a look at this. See, that's different. Yeah, let's take a look at this quick. <sighs> so I might've looked at this in the past. That's another nice thing, Celeram really like keeps track of when you look at stuff. Uh, so I must have looked at this earlier when I did when the other video got cut off. Um, all right, so it's going to cost us seven ninety eight. Let's pretend it was six, so I get rid of the prep center fee. I mean, it would be a thirty two percent ROI. You'd be making two dollars. Decent seller, I mean, I don't know. It might sell more than this. How many people are on this listing? Yeah, 16 on the listing, but there's not much stock. There's only 35 right now. Actually, there could be more sellers though. Let's see all the buying options. Uh, 34, let's see how many are prime. Uh, 23. So just a rough estimate. Yeah, I probably wouldn't. I don't know. This would be a gut call. I probably would not buy this. Um, but, I mean, it could be a good thing to test. Maybe a couple of units. Or not a couple of units. But probably pass on this. But totally up to you. Um, let's look at a couple more. We'll kind of consider that one like a half win because you can make money on it. Again, this is like kind of how sourcing goes as well though, because you're not just like going to walmart.com and everything's profitable. Like this is the process. We've been doing this for 15 minutes, 16 minutes now. And we maybe found one or two things that were like kind of iffy. Um, but if you keep going through this, you definitely get better at it. Um, it might be better. I like doing this for like specific brands, not necessarily like categories. Um, and I've never actually shopped this category before. Uh, I kind of want to do it too, because I know a lot of you guys are new. So I kind of wanted to have like no idea what I was going to find. Uh, 126K. These packages match. Eight sellers. No buy box. What do they have for twelve seventy two? I doubt this is gonna work. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Yeah, max cost eight dollars. Get rid of that. Uh, let's see this. No, I'm going to pass on that. Just because we've looked at a bunch of that stuff. Um, let's try this combo. What about our chips ahoy? Okay, no buy box, 798. Could be potential here, 56K. Not a terrible rank, not a great rank. 43 per month. I guess it's selling a little more than that. Yeah, this is one where it looks like this definitely was profitable. $19. So we're going to say 19 here. Yeah, that still would have been profitable. But some people, like, if you did do that, what is it? It's seven ninety eight. I'm gonna put six for the prep center. 
So you'd be, I mean, some people are, would be happy making that uh, $1.85, $2 on an item. The volume doesn't really look there to me, but let's see if I can find you guys one thing. I wanted to basically go through and find some good stuff for you guys and um, be like, oh, like, here's the good stuff. But on the flip side, I was like, well, I want to show you guys the process because, like, this is how it really looks like. Again, it, we've only been doing this 20 minutes. Like, that sounds like a lot, but it's not a lot of time at all. Obviously, I'm going a lot more slower because uh, I'm explaining stuff to you guys, trying to walk you through this. But I just love this tool, especially that you could use it on the site. Just a lot of this stuff I would just automatically pass on, but I'm trying to bring it up, show you guys some examples of why or why not I would do something. Uh, 13, 14. Yeah, see 179. That's only a pain when there's no buy box. It doesn't really populate. But still, it's a quick click. Quick click. Um, I haven't seen this before. It looks like it's two dollars off for whatever reason. No buy box. Wow, five k rank. A lot of merchant fulfilled sellers. I wonder if there are any FBA. This one has a variation. Oh, this is an interesting one. Pack of forty two. Pack of sixty. Which one is this? Oh, it's the 42. Okay. And it's 12.98. It's not pulling in a buy box. Let's see here. Oh, because it's all merchant. This is all merchant fulfilled. There's no FBA seller, which is unique. I think it's selling for 15.69. Amazon was on it at one point. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. 1690. I don't know why it's pulling a negative. Oh, it must be so big and heavy to ship. Oh, that's definitely why. Uh, let's see here. No prep. Oh, this is probably just large. Oh, wow. That eats up a ton of cost. Okay, so that's a big no. All right, come on. Let's see if we can just find one really solid thing. Again, it's hard when you're just kind of blindly jumping into snacks. It's broad. Maybe if we did a different category, um, it would be better. I mean, again, we found stuff that uh, would be a maybe buy. Maybe like what you'd find on a leads list. Um, that could work. Again, it's just based on what you want to do. Uh, it has nothing to do with. I just really want to show you guys how to use this tool on an actual website and how much quicker it makes it. Uh, big value now. These have options. Let's see, Oreo. I know some Oreos are profitable. Fudge covered Oreo, high rank, mm, two pack, no. Let's see, goldfish. Yeah, see, when stuff gets really big, the fulfillment fees get really big as well. So, again, this saves us time. We don't have to go to Amazon. It's like you can only pay two fifty. Obviously, it's uh, $10. More, more, more. Yeah, I want to try to stay away from those bigger, bigger ones. Yeah, it's probably multiple. You don't want to send that in. 
Switch, Xbox. Third, no, dollar eighty-three. Maybe snacks wasn't the best category to search. Um, let's see here. I am going to maybe come back. I think we're going to call it there. Um, I just really want to show you guys how you could actually use Celeram on the site. I mean, this isn't really untypical. Like, I've only spent, obviously, 25 minutes. And that's pretty realistic, guys. Like, you're going to be looking for stuff. And it's not like you're not going to find something. I mean, you might. But, like, the first five minutes, ten minutes, like, I don't know. It takes you a while to get going. Um I probably think like what I just did here would take about 15 minutes if I was just doing it myself, looking at stuff, not explaining stuff. Um, so for 15 minutes of time, not to find anything, not super uncommon. So I just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. I actually might uh, search for some other stuff on Walmart. And if I find it, add it to the end of this video to show you an example of something that worked. But I just might make other videos like this. So thank you for watching. If this is the end of the video, please subscribe. Please like the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments of the tool. If you want a free trial of Seller Am, link below, 14-day free trial. And I will see you guys in the next video.